Hi, I'm Eric Prod, an ANSYS leader in the Salesforce Trailblazer community. Here's one of our top community answers that we've turned into a video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot your formula if it does not work when referring to picklist values. This applies to any formula, may it be in a field, a validation rule, a flow, etc. Let's have a look at a simple formula. This will simply return whatever value is displayed in the type picklist. Now, let's have a look at it on a record. I will change the type to prospect and save. The formula now returns prospect as expected. Let's test it more. I will change the type to other and save. Here we see a discrepancy. The type formula shows no selection, whereas my type picklist is set to other. Let's see what is happening. For this, I need to go to setup and find my type picklist field. And I need to scroll down to the picklist values. The issue here is that formulas always return the API name of the picklist value, not its label. As you can see, the API name for the value prospect is prospect. However, the API name for the value other is no selection. Think about it, it makes sense. If your org uses multiple languages, you would need one formula for each language or a lot of or statements in your formula. By using the API name, we avoid this problem. Now, how to fix it? Well, there are a few ways. I could add an if statement in my formula to say that if the value is no selection, return other. I could also change the API name of the picklist value. However, big caveat, this needs analysis first, as it may be used in other formulas, automations, or even integrations. You do not want to break anything by making that change. If possible, it's always better to have matching value names and API names. As you can see, this makes it easier in the future. For this demo, I will add an exception to my formula. Just need to go to fields and relationships and find my formula. Let me change it. Now, my formula says that if the API of the type picklist is no selection, display other. Otherwise, show the API name of the picklist since the other values match their API names. Let me save this. And let's go back to the record and refresh the page. Success. The value other is selected in the picklist and shows as other in the formula. If you have more questions, tap into the wisdom of our entire Trailblazer community at trailhead.salesforce.com forward slash community. You can also find me on Twitter at ericprod underscore p.